Hi guys, it's Jasmine from Study Quill. Today, I'll be showing you how to organize your binder and some DIYs. Method number one is to use a large binder. This is a 1.5 inch binder and divide it into parts for each class using dividers. I would recommend using dividers with pockets like these because you can separate papers that are more important like a syllabus or assignment sheet. If you don't have pocket dividers, or even regular dividers, I'll be showing you how you can make them later in this video. The second method is to use multiple smaller binders. These are one inch binders and a half inch binder. I use this method for biology. I'm using normal dividers to divide the binder into four sections, notes, classwork, warmups, and binder paper. You can divide into whatever sections you need based on the work you do in your class although I would consider a binder paper section a requirement. In a math class, I would also recommend a graph paper section. You can tweak these however you like. For example, my school has block scheduling, which means I only have half of my classes every day. So I could do one binder for my odd day classes and one for my even day classes. If you have multiple binders, make sure you can easily tell the difference between them. This will depend on how your binders are stored. If you mainly see them on the top in your backpack, you can use different colored binders or put different colors of washi tape on the top. If you usually store them on a shelf with the spines showing, you can cut a sheet of paper into a thinner strip and write the subject on it, then slip it into the spine. A sheet of paper to decorate the front of your binder is also helpful. It doesn't have to be too fancy. Just make sure it has the labels for what's inside and your name in case you forget it somewhere. There are organizational methods I would recommend for all binders. Number one is a portable hole punch. You can get them at almost every office supply store or on Amazon for just a few dollars. I think mine was around $5, but I spent way too much on it because I got it at a college bookstore. If your hole punch doesn't have a cover to catch the little circles of paper, you can put them in an envelope. Just tape it inside one of the covers of the binder, or put it inside the pocket. The envelopes can be used for storing other things too. You can put in index cards, flashcards to review, post-it notes, page flags, or whatever else you want. I have two budget levels for the DIY dividers. The first is what I call the broke college student. Just take a sheet of paper, any sheet will do. Punch holes in it if it doesn't have any already. Tape a small piece of paper or sticky note to the side and write on the label. The next takes a bit more effort. You'll need a piece of cardstock that is larger than a normal sheet of paper. I traced the sheet of paper, drew in a little rectangle to stick out as the tab, and then cut it out and punched holes in it. Pocket dividers are just normal dividers with pockets. The first way to make them is to take one of the dividers you made, measure out a smaller rectangle, and stick it on however you like. I used hot glue to stick this piece of cardstock on. Make sure you don't stick the top edge shut. Otherwise, there's no opening for it to be a pocket, and it's just a piece of paper stuck to the tab. You can also make pocket dividers with clear page protectors. Just cut it up like I'm doing. Two vertical cuts on the sides, and a horizontal line. Then tape a little piece of paper to the side as the tabs. I hope these will help you keep organized. If you want to learn about organizational methods besides binders, I would recommend you watch the school organization video that I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching! You may be thinking, wow, I thought you uploaded on Mondays. Well, I still will be, and now I'll be uploading on Fridays as well. Friday videos will mostly be studying or planning time lapses, so see you next time, whether that be on a Monday or a Friday.